Hey y'all. So today what I want to show you is how to do a wood grain using just a regular paintbrush, cheap paintbrush from Walmart and four alcohol inks. This is a cup that I had that I started on and I didn't like it so I just spray painted over it. It's not going to matter because we're going to hide that. So I have the 30 ounce modern curve that I have sanded. I spray painted it white with white primer. Um, Rust Oleum 2X is fine. Um, and so the inks that I'm going to use are Latte. These are Tim Holtz. Caramel or Caramel. Ginger and Teakwood. So you're going to start with your lightest color first and work your way up to the darkest color. This is a super, super easy way to um, do a wood grain. If you have a cup laying around that um, you messed up on, or even if it has a coat of epoxy, you can just take it outside, hit it with some white primer, and you can cover all of this up. So you see this is not a perfect cup, but when we get done, it is going to look better. So I have to stand for this, so you're just going to see, um, you're not going to see my head, you're just going to see me working so I can show you really good, um, at a good angle, how to do this. So I'm going to start with uh, latte because it's the darkest. So I'm just going to drip it on the cup and I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to just go down. Put something down because inks do get messy. So you just put another drip. and just work your brush back and forth. This will produce the wood striations that you see on real wood. This is really, you cannot mess this up. Alcohol inks do dry fast, so you will find yourself putting ink on quite a bit. Maybe if I stand to the side, you can see it a little bit better. You can get the alcohol inks um, off of Amazon. You can get them directly off the Tim Holtz website. You just need four colors um, and work your way up from dark to uh, light to dark. I'm sorry. I know it looks like we have a lot of empty space on the white, but that's okay because we're just going to go back over it. If you get a spot like this that looks like it's it's ran, just drop you some more ink and go right back over it and it'll hide. Alcohol ink is very forgiving. These are super easy to do because the inks do dry so fast. You can move on to your next color and not have to spend a whole lot of time. I do not advise wearing good clothes when you do this. Um, throw you on an apron or crafting clothes. <clears throat> Don't wear your Sunday best when you're doing a 
alcohol ink cup. And you just keep going around the cup. You can stop. You don't have to use all four colors. You can stop when you reach the um, shade of, you know, the shade that you want, the shade of wood that you want. Just keep in mind that when you uh, put epoxy on this, the inks will lighten a little bit. So my rule of thumb is I always go a little bit darker than what I'm trying to achieve. So when I hit it with epoxy, if it lightens up a little bit, it's, I still, it's okay. I still have the color that I wanted. Don't forget to do your bottom. You're going to do the same thing. You're just going to drop ink and you're just going to brush it down. You might have to hold it up a little bit and just... You don't have to go in any particular motion. And these brushes you can reuse and reuse and reuse. I don't clean these. I don't spray them with anything. Once the alcohol ink dries, it's dry. And then you can use your um, brush again for the next one. I would suggest keeping a brush that's dedicated for wood grains. I'm just going to hit these spots and then I'm going to move on to my next color. So that's what you have so far. And you see the mess that I'm making? That's why I said make sure that your um, surface is protected. So the next color I'm gonna do is caramel, caramel, however you wanna say it. And I'm just gonna drip it and I'm just gonna brush. You just drag your brush back and forth, back and forth. You can achieve this wood grain with sponges, just cheap makeup sponges from the dollar store. But I feel like the brush gives it, the, the lines look more natural. So I feel like the brush gives you more of the, the wood look.
you don't forget to do your bottom you hold your cup up and drop the ink and then just brush it out See how pretty that is? And so that that is already dry. So that's what we have right now. So that's already dry. This little piece right here, you can drop more ink. And once you wipe, that will go away. You just got to be quick because it does dry so fast. And you can do multiple layers of the same color, or you can just do like I'm doing and you can go from light to dark. So the next color I'm gonna use is ginger. This is one of my favorites. So I'm just gonna drop it. And no two cups, when you do a wood grain, no two cups will look the same. Even if you use the same exact colors and the same exact methods, it is not gonna look the same. That's what I love about wood grains. They're each unique and different. That is so pretty. And you can do wood grains for females too. Um, I know a lot of uh, tumbler makers, they use wood grains for men, for men cups. But what you could do is if you wanted to girly this up a little bit, when you go to put your first coat of epoxy on, you can throw a little bit of um, glitter in your epoxy. I would pick maybe a translucent glitter, something, you don't want it to take over the cup, you just want to be able to give it a little bit of bling. And so do the bottom, I'm going to drop it from the top and brush out. See that looks like a knot where that ink had spilled over. We pull it down a little bit and it kind of looks like a knot. So that's where we're at. 
now, so this is our three colors. We'll hit that again. Like I said, alcohol ink is very forgiving. I kind of like that though. But the, the next color that we use will darken that back up. And going back and forth is what creates the striations. It creates the line. So that looks like an actual piece of wood. So that's already dry. And then we'll use our last color. We'll use teak wood. And this is going to really darken it up. So we'll just hold it down. See the difference? And then we'll hit this side. I'll be sure to list the colors that I use down in the description. You do not have to use the same colors. You can pick, you can even do this with colored alcohol inks. You could do blue, you could do pink, you could do purple, you could do gray, you could do a whitewash. And then we'll get the bottom. That's pretty cool. So that's where you're at now. Now, if you wanted to darken it up, you can do multiple layers of the uh, teak wood. You could even use espresso if you don't have teak wood. Um, I was going to try to show you how to make a knot, like one of those fancy little tree knots. So that's I love the way that looks right here. So that's where you're at now. I love this. This is where I would stop. You've got a light and a dark. I might darken that up just a tad. Just so it's not so, so light. There you go. Easy wood grain. Five items, four inks, a brush, and a cup. Now to do the knot, I just put a spot right here and I just kind of rub back and forth until the ink starts to dry. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't.
but it does give it a different look. Of course, when you want to do a knot, it doesn't work. Kind of want your edges to be darker on your knot like that. See? So I just drop the ink. I know that light is glaring. I drop the ink in a circle, let it sit for a minute, and just do like that. And then you kind of have a knot there. Or you can do the fancy little <clears throat> knot at the bottom. Try another one. Just drop some ink there, let it sit. And just start to scrub out until the ink starts to dry. And what's going to happen is the edges are going to get darker. I know pe there, are, there are people that have fancy ways of making the knot perfect. But I don't think there's such thing as a perfect knot. So we just go with it. So I'm just going to brush it up and create my own little and that's it you are done and it looks like a real piece of wood you can darken it up you don't have to go this dark you can go lighter you can go colors you can do whatever it is you want wear a sleeve you see how that it gets all over you if you have alcohol ink dried on the edge of your cup you can take a little bit of acetone and if you have a q-tip you can use one i think i have one i get these q-tips from walmart they have the flat end so you have the pointy end and then you have the flat end. I just take and hold it over that. And then I just go around the top. You can also use rubbing alcohol. You can use lemon oil. And then you just go around your cup. When I seal this with epoxy and the I know that the alcohol ink is protected then I go back in and clean the inside of my cup I don't want to run the risk of accidentally getting acetone or alcohol on my cup so I wait until I seal it so um, in, in one of my other videos I show you how to seal so I would just put a coat of epoxy on this um, I'm gonna do decals on here so I will hit this with counterculture fast set it's a fast setting epoxy that is cured in two hours. It allows you to put your decal or whatever you're gonna do quicker. Um, I love that product because you can turn out a lot of cups if you use fast set. Do not use it as a top coat because um, it does have you know yellow and property. So just use your fast set to give you a barrier so you can go ahead and put your decal and then when you put your final coat of epoxy you just use your regular resin and if you have fast set you don't have to use fast set with counterculture epoxy you can use it with any epoxy but that's it guys easy peasy wood grain four items five items i'm sorry let's count one two three four five six that's all you need right there and your brush so that's it and now you have your wood grain so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did hit the like button below uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any things we're gonna be putting a lot of new content up and as always if you have any questions you can leave a comment below and we will be happy to answer any questions that you have happy cupping y'all bye